hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here we can write this as 3 raised to power hex times then you can write it as 3 square which is raised to power hex then equals to 30 here then this follows when we have a raised to power m raised to power n this same thing as a raised to power m n that is this power multiplies we have 3 raised to the power hex times 3 raised to the power 2x equals to 30 on this side then this also follows when we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n this same thing as a raised to the power n plus n that is here can write this as 3 raised to the power hex plus 2x equals to 30 on this side that is here we have 3 raised to power 3 hex equals to 30 here then here we take the log on both sides that is here we have log 3 raised to power 3 hex equals to log 30 here the next step here we apply the power law of log n when we have log m raised to power p this is the same thing as p log m that is yeah this becomes 3 hex log 3 equals to log 30 here then next step here we divide both side by log 3 that is divide this side by log 3 also divide this side by log 3 that this here log 3 cancel each other this becomes 3 hex equals to log 30 over log 3 and from here 30 can be written as 3 times 10 which implies we have 3 hex equals to log 3 times 10 over log 3 then from here this follows when we have log a times b which is same thing as log a plus log b that this here we have 3 hex equals to log 3 plus log 10 over log 3 that is here we separate this into two fractions and we have 3 hex equals to log 3 over log 3 plus log 10 over log 3 and this here log 3 cancel each other we have one left then this becomes 3 hex equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 3 then also from here 10 can be expressed as 2 times 5 then what we have here becomes 3 hex equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 3 that is this also follows the law of logarithm and we have 3 hex equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 3 that is here separate this into two fractions and we have 3 hex equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 then from here here we apply change of this that is when we have log a over log b this is the same thing as log a to base b that this here we have 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 at this here 
we divide both sides by log 3. Divide this side by 3, rather, divide this side by 3. And 3 here cancel each other. That is, we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. That is, the value of x here we have 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. Let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute. The value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 times also 9 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 this is equals to 30 on this side that is here we can write this as 3 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 times 9 can be written as 3 squared. This is also raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. Is it equals to 30 here? Then from here, this follows when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power 2m. This can be written as a raised to power 3m. That is also here we can write it as 3 raised to power 3 times 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 is it equals to 30 on this side then here we have this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other we have 3 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 is it equals to 30 on this side then here we have this from the law of indices a raised to power him plus n. This same thing as a raised to power him times a raised to power him. As this we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 30 on this side. 3 raised to power 1, that's 3 times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b but this a we have 2 then times 5 this is equals to 30 on this side and 3 times 2 6 6 times 5 that's 30 equals to 30 from here that is left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude here that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.